Tuan Mining Corporation is a 100% owned subsidiary of the Nickel Asia Corporation, a company that is listed in the Philippines Stock Exchange and is the Philippines' largest producer of the terrific nickel ore and is the one of the largest in the world. It sits on the rich nickel island of Hinatuan, located approximately 25 kilometers east of Surigao City in Hinatuan Island, Barangay Talavera, Taganaan, Surigao del Norte. HMC was incorporated in 1979 and was granted rights over Taganaan in 1980. By 1983, the size of the property expanded with acquisition of additional claims. Today, the Taganaan mine site now covers an area of almost 800 hectares. HMC's mine life cycle involved various activities from exploration, planning and development to the actual production and movement of the mineral ores, utilizing the surface mining method and conventional holding as its mode of ore transport. HMC mines 49% iron limonite and 1.45% nickel satellite. Its annual or extraction is estimated at 6 million weight metric tons, with an annual production weight of 4 million metric tons, supplying clients from Japan, Australia, and China. HMC prides itself in their vision to nurture progress, people and nature, from 2005 to 2017, HMC has already spent the total of 167 million for its social development and management program. HMC's health programs include the conduct of regular medical dental mission, health care program to senior citizens, support to barangay health workers, provision of health care facilities such as birthing clinics, see ambulances for coastal communities and other centers, addressing various health needs. Under health programs, HMC was able to reduce the morbidity rate for its community from high of 5% in 2004 to 1.24% in 2017. Moreover, the number of malnourished children was reduced from 25% in 2004 down to 4.8% in 2016. Support to the education sectors includes the provision of school supplies and instructional materials to pupils and teachers, school boats to far-flung coastal communities, alternative learning system, a dynamic learning program for special groups, provision of technical vocational scholarship and employment program, scholarships for college students as to support to daycare workers as well as SDMP subsidized teachers. For 2010 to 2017, a total of 7,369 students have benefited from the company's education program. From 15 out-of-school youths in 2004, there were none in school year 2016 to 2017. Various livelihood programs are likewise made available to different people organization, which includes fabrication of fishing boats, bakery and restaurants, food marts, fish processing, tailoring shops, and the passengers in cargo boat business that travels back and forth from Talavera to Surigao City, skills trainings and other possible sources of livelihood programs are also being conducted to the community members. These programs help raise the income of 73% households in the three host communities above the poverty line with 27.63% or 202 households earning a monthly income of 20,000 above. Alongside the soft infrastructure projects are the hard infrastructure that is manifested in the new government buildings that HMC has built for the community, new daycare centers, birthing facility, TV dots, preschool buildings, covered walk, speech laboratory, 
science lab and computer rooms make learning conducive for pupils from different situs. The teachers to the student ratio from 1 is to 45 in 2004 was reduced to 1 is to 21 in school year 2016 to 2017. A number of households have also been provided with the access to safe potable water as well as electricity. The company likewise provides support to various social cultural activities of different sectors and groups in the community. The community supports during fiestas and other activities. Over years, the community's morbidity rate has significantly decreased. The number of the out-school youth has declined. The number of malnourished children has decreased. The teacher-student's ratio has improved, and the average of the household monthly income has also increased. These are all indicators of the community that is healthy, safe, and progressive. Beyond the SDMP, HMC also spent 20 million from 2013 to 2017 for its corporate social responsibility projects. Most notable were technical vocational scholarship and employment program for lady drivers. Suigao del Norte Basketball Association turnover of minivan to Taganaan. Turnover of mobile lab to provincial hospital. Turnover of speedboat. Turnover of fire truck to LGU Taganaan. Province-wide medical surgical mission. Support for the construction of Mount Carmel Church. And turnover of 4,166 thesis reference for emergency and disaster groups to the provincial government of Suigao del Norte. HMC exerts extra effort to ensure employee satisfaction and growth. HMC likewise makes sure that the health and safety of the employees are not compromised in their day-to-day -day operations. The company ensures adequate provision in PBS. HMC achieves a zero loss time accident and it has registered more than 18 and 477,000. 141.08 million men hours work without lost time accident. Its annual environmental protection and enhancement program expenditures for the period covering calendar years 2012 to 2017 surpassed the mandatory required expenses of 3% to 5% of the direct mining cost. HMC implements the progressive mine rehabilitation program of its mined out areas, with most of this already reforested, revegetated at present. It has collaborated with the academe in coming up with the researches and studies on rehabilitation and restoration of mine out areas and reforestation strategies, among others, its efforts to rehabilitate the mine out areas. HMC Nursery Operation is also full swing, supplying variety of forestry seedlings and is not only for the company use but also provided other interested parties at no cost. Since 2008 up to March 2018, the company has already planted a total of 1,018,682 trees within its mine out areas as well as buffer zone comprising fast growing and suitable species with majority where native tree species. These planted trees are now sequestrating carbon dioxide from the atmosphere at the rate of 92.36 tons per hectare per year based on a study by the UPLB. HMC implements the Community Output-Based Seedling Production Program which awards seedling production contracts to qualified community residents, providing additional sources of income to the residents engaged in seedling production, slope protection, greening and maintenance of reforested areas. A total of 621 households since 2011 have been employed to perform environmental works such as seedling production, soil amelioration, planting of trees, and monitoring and maintenance of reforestation areas. A total of 46 million has been paid since 2011 to February 2018. 
from 2011 to 2017. Over 520 million pesos has been dispersed by HMC, its annual environmental protection and enhancement program for the implementation of its in-line rehabilitation program, pollution control, and enhancement activities including environmental monitoring programs. These include backfilling and reshaping and revegetation and reforestation of declared mine-out areas, the establishment, improvement and maintenance of citrine ponds, silt collector sumps and drainages, dust suppression through road spraying, road grading and compacting, as well as air and water quality monitoring. Also, the proper management of hazardous wastes and solid waste management. Parallel to the compliance of these environmental standards, the HMC web-based monitoring system has significantly reduced the company fuel consumption and in turn reduced carbon emission. The company likewise implements a sound coastal resource management program comprising a community output-based mangrove seedling production, plantation and enhancement activities Activities, coral reef assessment and rehabilitation, coastal water quality and sanitation monitoring activities, conduct of marine environmental awareness activities such as coastal and underwater cleanup drives and IEC activities. The going research of establishment of artificial coral reefs has recruited 17 species of coral reef fishes. Its wildlife conservation program has also made significant gains with a variety of species of wildlife present in the vicinity of the mining site, which are bio-indicators of a successful mine rehabilitation efforts. Indeed, HMC has already made the significant contribution to the community and its remain firm and its vision to uplift their lives by maximizing access to the economic gains of the mining operations without compromising the environment. In 2017, in total of 4.2 billion pesos was paid to the national government in the form of taxes and customs duties, while almost 168 million was paid to the local government units for taxes and licenses from 2011 to 2017. Total payroll cash outlay from 2011 to 2017 amounted to 1 billion 341 million 27,041 or an average of 16 million per month of employees' salaries that greatly benefit the economic activity not only of the impact community but also the neighboring cities and municipalities. HMC Trailblazing Program of Empowering Women in Mining has resulted 26 female Volvo truck drivers. Indeed, mining has changed people's lives for the better. The Trapal Boy has risen from the chain of poverty to become the mining engineer restored of the land of his birth, the hope and symbol that indeed responsible mining is possible and clearly is passed at HMC.